Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a charge controller to a battery so that you can use a solar panel to charge up your battery. Now this applies for really any off-grid type system. However, for those of you with power stations and you want to try to charge up the battery while it's connected to the power station and expanding that power station's total watt hour capacity, well this is how you would do it. So what I've got here is I've got a Lee Time 30 amp MPPT charge controller. It can take up to 100 volts coming in from your solar panels, which is actually kind of nice. And it's auto sensing for voltage between 12 and 24 volts. So when you connect it up to the battery, it's going to automatically determine the voltage of the battery and set its parameters for that. You don't have to do anything, just plug it in the battery. Now it can take up to 450 watts of solar coming in. It's also fairly inexpensive. I'll drop a link down below. I did buy this and it's worked really well for me since I got it. So there you have it. That's it for the charge controller. For the battery, I've got a watt cycle, 314 amp hour battery. That's 419 watt hours. It's a 12.8 volt LiPo4 battery. And we're gonna connect these together. And then I'm gonna also connect up a disconnect for solar panels and show you how that works. And I'll actually connect everything up and throw out a solar panel and put some charge on it to show you it working. So let's let's hook this up. Now all you're gonna need to do this is of course the cables to hook it up and I can drop a link down below to all the cables you'd need and a screwdriver. And that's it folks, just a screwdriver. So let's grab a screwdriver and let's hook it up. All right, so we've got a positive cable here. This one has a 40 amp fuse in it and we've got a negative cable. All right, now. We're just going to take these cables, and I always used to connect negatives first, and I'm not an electrician or electrical engineer, but I've gotten in the habit of actually changing and doing the positives first, so we'll do that. Now, to connect up this positive cable, I like to make sure that my wires aren't all frayed apart. We want to connect it to the battery connection on the charge controller, and there's a little battery symbol right here, so all we got to do is loosen that guy up, Stick that in there. I like to give it a little twist to make sure that all of my copper wires are going into it. And then once I have it on, I like to give it a little tug and make sure that that's all the way on there. And then we'll take that and we'll connect that up to the positive terminal on the battery. Really simple. I have a 40 amp fuse and that's just gonna give me the protection I need both for the cable size I have, though I could go with a slightly bigger fuse but I'm only running a 30 amp charge controller, so a 40 amp fuse would be fine. And then we'll take our negative and do the same thing. We'll leave that in free. Make sure I don't have any frayed wire sticking out anywhere. Stick that in the negative side. You gotta kind of be careful because if it's a little bit tight, you might run those, those wires and fray them a little bit. So I like to kind of twist it when I put it in. And then again, give it a tug, make sure that it's nice and snug. So there you go, that one's in there. We'll take this side and we'll connect that up to the negative terminal. And as soon as I do, the charge controller will start to read the battery voltage and it's currently reading 13.3. So let me show you that. So we're now hooked up to the battery. It's really that simple, but we still gotta hook up solar. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll connect up the positive here. And you can do positive first or negative. And then we give it a tug, make sure that's all the way in there. It is, that's good. Then we'll take this one, do the same thing. And again, give that a little tug, make sure that they're nice and snug and you didn't kind of misalign it when you put it in. And then we'll take our positive side here and connect it to the bottom of our breaker and the negative side to the bottom of the breaker as well. So now we have are two cables running from the charge controller through these MC4s to my disconnect. And this is a simple die hole disconnect switch. Pretty straightforward. That gives me my connections to my solar panels. We've got cables from the charge controller going to my disconnect here. Now all I have to do, because the disconnect is connected up to my solar panel, turn that on. And what will happen is the charge controller is now going to read that solar panel and it actually shows that the solar panel is connected. I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a little icon right down here at the bottom that shows that. Now, we're not gonna get a lot of power off this in here. 
So we're going to shut her all down, take it all apart, take it outside, hook it all back up, and I'm going to run solar through this and show you how it works. Okay, here we go. We got a mess here, but I'll show you what we've done. We've got the Lee Time 30 amp MPPT charge controller. And the first thing we hooked up was we hooked up the battery cables. These are two 8 gauge cables that I've connected to the battery, positive and negative. From the charge controller, which is hooked up to the battery now, we go through a set of cables over to, don't mind my mess here folks, over to this switch. And it's just got MC4s. MC4s here going to the solar panels and then down here coming over to the charge controller. So that solar panel there will come through these cables to my switch and then to the solar charge controller. Now you can see that the charge controller is currently on. I've got 13.2 volts. So now we're going to take that panel and throw it out there in the sun. So let's do that. And we're going to set it out here so we get some good sunlight out of it. This is a cool new solar panel that I'm just playing with now, folks. I think they just came out on the market. And so far, I'm not just impressed with it. I'm going to tell you, I think it's a game changer in portable solar panels. It is amazing. Okay, I'm going to connect these up because it's easier to connect it up on the ground. Like that, because I'm going to flip this open. This whole panel just folds up really nicely. I like it. It comes with tabs, little uh, loops, I guess you call them, not tabs, that you can hang it on something. It's got a zipper right in the middle, so you can separate it if you want. Okay, so we're gonna go to solar panel setting. I'll flip the switch, and look at that, folks. The voltage is coming up here. We're up to 41 volts, so that's good. Battery's at 13.2, we are charging. So we've got 278 watts coming in from the panels just laying flat on the ground. We've got the app running and it is showing uh, 275 watts. And we're getting that 275 watts of charging going into the battery. And that's all there is to it. It's really quite simple to hook up a charge controller to a battery and connect solar to it. And I would just say that make sure your cables are tight make sure that you fuse everything and use a disconnect for your solar panels and yeah you could get away without doing that but you know i have been known to throw sparks before so it's a good idea to fuse and put breakers in and, and just protect yourself and your equipment well that's it folks really super simple really easy to do a screwdriver some cables i'll put a link down below and thank you to all my members for being here and supporting the channel i really do appreciate it it helps me out keeps me motivated so thank you very much for that Meanwhile, folks, I'm going to throw another video right over here. Check it out. Thanks for watching, folks. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.